Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's ultimate high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Douglas Freeman High School versus Fort Defiance High School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome to Battle of the Brains, Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. The academic athletes joining us today are the Douglas Freeman High School team coached by Jason Abril and Orion Altman. Douglas Freeman High School, a public secondary school known as the Center for Leadership, Government, and Global Economics. Students learn to analyze and navigate information through the lens and ambiguities of modern life. Also with us today, the Fort Defiance High School team of Augusta County, coached by Eric Walker. Fort Defiance High School is a small public high school in the Shenandoah Valley with about 800 students in the 9th through 12th grades. Fort Defiance was one of only 16 high schools in the Commonwealth honored with a Virginia Department of Education Exemplar Performance Award. Also a silver rating from U.S. News & World Report. Fort Defiance students are able to take college courses for dual credit through Blue Ridge Community College. It's great to have all of these students here with us today to play Battle of the Brains. Our match will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players will buzz in and wait for me to call on them before giving their answer. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction. There is no point deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, welcome. Here is the first toss-up round. What southeastern city contains the neighborhoods of Ghent and Ocean View in the Ward's Corner Business District and is home to Old Dominion University? Uh, Brogan. Uh, Virginia Beach. That is incorrect. Douglas Freeman? Annabelle? Norfolk. Norfolk is correct. It is the motto of the University of Oxford. Translate the Latin phrase Dominus Illuminatio Mea. Annabelle? That is incorrect. Fort Defiance? Parker? Through learning light. Sure, my Latin isn't great, but it's the Lord is my light. Animals that eat both plants and other animals are known by what term? Parker? Omnivores. Correct. Who is the only former head of the Central Intelligence Agency to become a president of the United States? Rogan. Uh, George H.W. Bush. That is correct. Colorful foods such as broccoli, carrots, and blueberries are great sources of organic substances that are thought to protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. What are these deactivators called, Parker? Antioxidants. Correct. If you want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. Is a quote attributed to which former Prime Minister? Annabelle. Margaret Thatcher. Correct, of the United Kingdom. Who was John McCain's running mate during his... Anoush. Sarah Palin. Correct. 2008 campaign for president. After commanding German troops in World War I, this field marshal was elected president of the Weimar Republic. Parker. Hindenburg. Paul von Hindenburg is correct. There were seven wonders of the ancient world. One of them was the Pharaohs, or lighthouse of what city? Annabelle. Alexandria. And as Alexandria, Egypt is correct. Whose law of physics is defined as follows? The intensity of the light transmitted from the analyzer varies directly as the square of the cosine of the angle between the plane of transmission of analyzer and polarizer. Lambert. Matthew. Lambert. That is incorrect. Fort Defiance? That would be Malice's Law. His novels of the sea include White Jacket and Billy Budd. He returned to land for a story of a copyist who refuses to work in Bartleby the Scrivener. Name this author of Moby Dick. Uh, Brogan. Herman Melville. Correct. All right, teams, watch the screen. Listen carefully. Here's a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. In the classic version of Monopoly, what railroad is situated between income tax and Oriental Avenue? Matthew. The Reading Railroad. That is correct. The city of Buffalo, New York lies at the eastern end of which Great Lake? Anoush. Uh, Lake Erie. That is correct. Name either of Kentucky's two current U.S. Senators. Anoush. Uh, Mitch McConnell. And Rand Paul, correct. TV dad Mike Brady worked in architecture. Spell architecture. Annabelle. A-R-C-H-I-T-E 
C T U R E. That is correct. What Owings Corning marketing cartoon character is likely featured on an insulation product in your attic? Annabelle. Red Flintstone. That is incorrect. Fort Defiance. Gilbert. Forky Pig. It would be the Pink Panther. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. Gary has a new car that can go 100 miles on three gallons of gas. If Gary drove 300 miles on a weekend trip, how many gallons of gas did he use? Anoush. Nine. Correct. And that buzzer means the first toss-up round is over. Good job by our teams. Up next, we'll meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Douglas S. Freeman High School with 90 points. Our team from Fort Defiance High School with 50 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead. But first, let's introduce you to today's players. First, our team from Douglas Freeman High School. Their coaches are Jason Abril and Orion Altman. First up is Matthew Wozniak, who is a junior. Matthew runs cross country and track. He hopes to major in electrical and computer, computer engineering in college. Next up is Anuj Damle, who is a junior, is a member of the Model UN Club, and Freeman Secretariat is a flautist with the Freeman Marching Band and Wind Ensemble. Our team captain is Katie Hall. Katie is a senior who's editor-in-chief of Freeman's newspaper, The Commentator, and plans to major in foreign affairs in college. And wrapping up our team is Annabelle Nee, who is a senior, is the sound engineer for Freeman's plays and musicals, and plans to major in English in college. That is our team from Douglas Freeman High School. Now let's meet our team from Fort Defiance High School, coached by Eric Walker. First up, is, uh, let's see who we got first, Brogan. Brogan Cash is a senior who enjoys reading and watching documentaries in his free time. He aspires to travel all over the world and wants to attend James Madison University to study international affairs. Our team captain is Parker Brown, who is a senior, is a musician. He can play piano, guitar, banjo, and trumpet, and is a Boy Scout currently working on his Eagle Scout project and one day hopes to become a famous country singer, as opposed to a not famous country singer, I guess. <laughs> Next up is Gilbert May, who is a senior, enjoys music, history, philosophy, reading, and being outdoors, wants to uh, attend college to possibly obtain a PhD in sociology. And wrapping up our team from Fort Defiance High School is Hannah Shiflett. Hannah is a junior who enjoys eating great foods, playing soccer, traveling, and spending time with her family, is interested in molecular gastronomy and chemistry. That is our team from Fort Defiance High School, and great to have all of our students here with us today. Now they're going to tackle the category round where they will select a 10-question category from today's choices. If the team gets all of its questions correct within the allotted time, they'll receive a 20-point bonus. All right, teams, take a look here at today's categories from which you may choose. They are political assassinations and attempts, W expressions, and foreign word origins. We do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answer. By the rules, the high score team will get first choice of category. That is our team from Douglas Freeman High School. So Katie, quickly talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what category you would like to play. We'll take foreign words. All right. From which language did these words enter English? We're looking for a language, not necessarily a country, okay? The first words are goulash and paprika. Hungarian? Correct. Ginseng and gung-ho. Chinese? Do we need to be more specific, judges? Mandarin Chinese? That is correct. Ballet and ambulance? French. Correct. Kahuna and ukulele. Hawaiian. Correct. Gollum and Messiah. Arabic. That would be Hebrew. Penguin and Corgi. Dutch. That would be Welsh. Smorgasbord and Ombudsman. Swedish. Correct. Karaoke and Karate. Japanese. Correct. Almanac and algebra. Arabic. Correct. And finally, aardvark and apartheid. 
Afrikaans. That is correct. All right, good job on that category. And now for Fort Defiance, it will either be political assassinations and attempts or W expressions. <laughs> Parker, what would you like to play? Do we want to do political assassinations? Yes. I think so, yeah. Okay, all right. We will take political assassinations and attempts. All right, identify each of the following about assassinations or attempts. The first is the historic D.C. venue where Lincoln was shot. Ford's Theater. Correct. President shot on July 2nd, 1881 in Washington, D.C. McKinley. That'd be James Garfield. Man who shot Ronald Reagan in 1981. Pass. John Hinckley Jr. The president shot in Buffalo, New York. Eddie Roosevelt. William McKinley. Assassin of Robert Kennedy in 1968. That would be Sirhan Sirhan, assassin of John Kennedy in 1963. Lee Harvey Oswald. Correct. Assassin of Martin Luther King in 1968. Ray? James Earl Ray is correct. Governor of Alabama wounded in Maryland in 1972. George Wallace shot Lee Harvey Oswald. That would be Jack Ruby. And finally, president who continued a speech after being shot in 1912, and that would be Teddy Roosevelt. All right, good job with the category round by our teams. Up next, we'll have another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains continues. Stay with us. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of battle gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Douglas Freeman High School with 130 points. Our team from Fort Defiance High School with 65 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. Just a reminder first for our teams, you do lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team then gets the chance to answer, and there is no conferring in the toss-up rounds. All right, here we go. Lines of longitude on a globe or map are used to measure distance east or west of what specific line? Matthew. Uh, prime meridian. Correct. Carlos Beltran and Roberto Alomar were two of the best of this type of baseball player. What? Brogan. Uh, out outfitters. That is incorrect. What two-word term is used for a player who bats from both sides of the plate? Matthew. Switch hitter. Correct. Melanin is a chemical pigment that limits penetration into living tissue and absorbs the harmful effects of what type of radiation? Matthew. Uh, ultraviolet. Correct. What U.S. state is closest geographically to Africa? Anoush. Uh, Maine. Correct. In the final act, Edward Edgar's half-brother Edmund dies, as does the title king's youngest daughter, the thankless child Cordelia. Annabelle. King Lear. Correct. It is the world's oldest commissioned naval vessel still afloat. Gilbert. USS Constitution. That is correct. Binet's formula is a way to find numbers in what sequences in which after starting with one and one, each number of the sum is the sum of the previous two. Matthew. Fibonacci sequence. That is correct. All right, teams, watch the screen. Listen carefully. Here's another Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. In the 1950s, VMFA, called the Virginia Museum at the time, began a program of taking art to residents in rural areas. It was one of the first museums in the world to do this. What is the name of the truck or van which carries art around the state? Annabelle. A moving art truck. <laughs> <laughs> they should call it that, but no. Fort Defiance. It's actually called the Art Mobile. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 Comprised of over 7,000 islands, what Southeast Asian country is led by Parker? Indonesia. That is incorrect. I will finish for Douglas Freeman. Is led by Bong Bong Marcos and has its capital in Manila. Uh, the Philippines. That is correct. Bristol, Connecticut is the headquarters of which cable network whose shows include, pardon the interruption, and Sports Center? 
Matthew. ESPN. Correct. This man came up with an algebraic solution for cubics lacking a quadratic term. He was also the first to apply mathematics to the science of artillery fire. Who was this 16th century mathematician? Matthew. Sir Isaac Newton. That is not correct. For, for defiance? That would be Tartaglia. Which female country music star performed alongside Guns N' Roses for a 2023 summer tour? Annabelle. Miranda Lambert. That is incorrect. Fort Defiance. Parker. Anya Tucker. <laughs> that would make sense. It was Carrie Underwood. Gosh, yeah. The second of the two biblical books attributed to this man contains four acrostic poems lamenting the fall of Jerusalem. The one named for him prophesizes the Babylonian captivity under Nebuchadnezzar. Name this major prophet whose book follows Isaiah. Matthew. Ezekiel. That is incorrect. For defiance, Gilbert. Elijah. It's actually Jeremiah. Mm. Hiccups are caused by involuntary spasms in what muscular structure? Diaphragm. That is correct. Defeating Texas Christian University 45 to 42, Coach Prime Deion Sanders won his first Division I football game as coach of what Midwestern <coughs> University? Anush. Uh, Colorado. Correct. Tallahassee is the capital of Florida. Spell Tallahassee. Annabelle. T-A-L-L-A-S-S-E-E. -E. That is incorrect. <laughs> Fort Defiance. It is T-A-L-L-A-H-A-S-S-E-E. -E. <laughs> And that buzzer means one more toss-up round to go, and we'll double the point value. Stay tuned to see which team is today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores as we head now into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Douglas Freeman High School with 220 points. Our team from Fort Defiance High School with 55 points. Now for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled, and so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finish the question. No deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, good luck teams. This is our final toss-up round. You may need your pencil and paper for this. What are the prime factors of the number 126? And that would be two times three times three times seven or two times three squared times seven. What is the name of the isotope sometimes called heavy hydrogen? Matthew. Deuterium. That is correct. All right, keep that pencil and paper handy. Log base two of eight plus log base 3 of 27, all divided by 12, equals what? That would be one half. All told, how many commandments are to be found in the Old Testament? Annabelle. 613. That is correct. <laughs> Demagogue is a term given to a political leader who gains popularity by appealing to prejudice and basic Spell demagogue. Annabelle. D-E-M-A-G-O-U-G-E. -E. That is incorrect. Fort Defiance. All right, Annabelle, we gave it one G too many. It's D-E-M-A-G-O-G-U-E. -E. In computer science, there are four types of access modifiers, visible, private, public, and what other type? <laughs> Matthew. Protected. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Wirt and Greg are two half brothers who get lost in the woods. Annabelle. Over the garden wall. Correct. <laughs> what is the name given to a German prisoner of war camp for officers and enlisted men? Parker. Stalag. That is correct. In April 1964, who was the president who signed the Civil Rights Act into law? Anush. Uh, Lyndon Johnson. Correct. 
Through his achievement, though his achievement is difficult to verify, the 6th century BC Athenian Thespis is credited by many with the origination of what specific form of drama? Annabelle? Tragedy? Correct. Lady with an Ermine and Don Madonna of the Rocks are the, among the works of what Italian Renaissance painter of The Last Supper and the Mona Lisa? Annabelle. Da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is correct. Badwater Basin at 282 feet below sea level is the lowest point in the Western Hemisphere. In what U.S. state is it located? Matthew. Nevada. That's incorrect. Fort Defiance? Parker? Utah. It's actually in California. Who was the British monarch during the American Revolutionary War? Anush. George the, the Third. Correct. Under the flag of which country did Danish explorer Vitus Bering sail? Annabelle. Portugal. That is incorrect. Fort Myers. Parker. Uh, Britain, England. Actually, it was Russia. The Jungle, published in 1906 and set in Chicago, was a scathing expose of what industry? Parker. The meatpacking industry. Correct. How many sharps are there in the musical key of C major? Anush. Uh, none. Correct. Article 1 of the Constitution gives Congress the right to issue them. They give an owner of an invention 17 years to market it. Parker. A um, patent. That is an exclusive license, yes. By what name do we call the island on which the Dominican Republic and Haiti Parker. Hispaniola. Correct. The 10th through 12th century Fatimid dynasty, which ruled over Egypt and parts of North Africa, took its name from what prominent descendant of Mohammed? Uh, Matthew. His daughter? Uh, correct. <laughs> Fatima. Mm -hmm. What animal is the symbol of the U.S. Democrat Party? Anoush. A donkey. Correct. Buzzer is the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round one in this current season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome Charlottesville High School versus Collegiate School. And let's take a look at the final score for today's match, which determines which of our teams will continue on to round two in this season's competition. Ending the match with a final score of 135 points, our team from Fort Defiance High School. Great job today by Hannah, Gilbert, Parker, and Brogan. Our winners today, congratulations to our team from Douglas Freeman High School. Final score 440 makes you our uh, champions for today's match. Congratulations to Matthew, Anuj, Katie, and Annabelle. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.